I'm Jen and welcome to my studio and today we're going to be doing a technique exercise that's geared toward like intermediate tappers but you could do it slower and it would be perfectly fine for beginner tappers. We could do it even faster and add like grab offs or pickups and it'd be great for advanced tappers. So I'll be able to tell you like where you can take stuff out, where you can put stuff in and then hopefully this will be very very useful to you no matter what level you are but for the purpose of the video I'm going to call it intermediate. Cool? Cool. So this one involves waltz clogs and then 16th notes. Yes. I was like, wait, how am I subdividing that? So it's waltz clogs and different kinds of 16th notes. Cramp rolls, paradiddles, reverse cramp rolls, stuff like that. So you ready to get started? Let's do it. Okay. So first, every single like line in this stanza, it's like, well, it looks like poetry when I look at it. Tap dance is poetry. And I mean that. Um, <laughs> so waltz clogs begin every single line. So no matter what you're doing at the end, it's always step show full ball change, step show full ball change, and then a ball change to finish off the four count phrase. So so waltz clog. If you've never done a waltz clog before, that's fine. I'll go over it very, very briefly. But if you need more of like an in-depth look at waltz clogs, I have a step tutorial playlist right down below. Click on that waltz clog. It's like, just, you know, scroll. You'll, you'll find waltz clog. The video is clearly labeled that. Learn it and then meet me back here and keep working on this technique exercise. So just briefly going over it, it's composed of step, step, roll, ball, change. That's a waltz clog. Step, step, roll, ball, change. Step, step, roll, ball, change. I think the day I'm filming this is the day after I actually just posted on TikTok and Instagram a how to do a waltz clog video. So if you uh, just want like a short version of learning how to do a waltz clog, you can check those out too. Um, I also post them on YouTube shorts. So it's, it's here, it's there, it's everywhere. <laughs> so step to the ball change, step to the ball change, ball change is how we're going to start each phrase. So let's try that together. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. So there is an extra ball change at the end to finish off that eight. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Good. Okay. That's how each phrase starts. Then, as soon as we're done with that first part of the phrase, the waltz clogs, at the end of the phrase, everything has exactly the same rhythm. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven. Very, very straightforward rhythm, right? One and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight. Technically, if you count it the way I was, this is where the 16th notes come in. It's three and two and three and four and five and a six and a seven and a eight and eight and. So that's where the 16th notes come in. You can do, you can view them as eighth notes, especially if you slow the tempo down. That's fine. However you want to look at it, you have two waltz clogs and then you have da 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 That's the rhythm at the end. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. So how do we get those rhythms? We just did. Your right foot is free. Your first set is three cramp rolls and a ball change. Now these cramp rolls are very specifically one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. They're not da 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 You're not doing them too fast. It's very even. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. And in my opinion, that that actually makes them harder to make sure that you're getting them even. You really gotta focus. So the first line is. Let's try it. Ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. I have to concentrate so hard, I can't even count it while I do it. Let's try it one more time. I will try to give you counts this time. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, so 
that's line number one. Line number two starts exactly the same way with the waltz pause. This time, we do a reverse cramp roll three times and then a ball change. You're going dig, dig, toe, toe, dig, dig, toe, toe. So I call it a reverse cramp roll. Other people might call it something different. If you call this something different, cool, awesome. So you have dig, dig, toe, toe. I just wanted you to see it from the sides. So you do one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Your right foot's free, so you start with a right dig. You finish with a ball change like usual. So let's try waltz clogs, reverse cramp rolls, ball change. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. That one is very hard. <laughs> if the reverse cramp roll messes you up or you want to make it a little bit easier for your class, do the first two lines exactly the same. Cramp roll, cramp roll, cramp roll, ball change. And then the second line, do also cramp roll, cramp roll, cramp roll, ball change. Just do it again, just to get more cramp roll practice and eventually work into the reverse cramp roll. So let's try that. I'm gonna wake up my computer because it decided it wanted to sleep. You know what? Same. Okay, so we have Let's try that one more time and then we'll put it together with the first line. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Now let's do the first line and the second line. So regular cramp roll, reverse cramp roll. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. So those are the first two lines. The last two lines are actually exactly the same, but you switch feet. So you start with waltz clog, then you have paradiddle, 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 ball change. And now our left foot's free. So then we would start the waltz clogs on the left. And then start the paradiddles with our left foot. So, funny story, I don't usually tell y'all when like everything goes wrong, but in my notes, instead of writing PD for paradiddle, I wrote PB times three, which means pullback times three. I did not mean that. I know I meant paradiddle. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I'm absolutely sure of it. But to me, I'm like kind of laughing at the idea of doing pullbacks in this, but also now I'm like, I kind of want to try it out. So maybe catch me on TikTok or Instagram later trying that with pullbacks. All right, it is paradiddle. So let's do waltz clog, waltz clog, paradiddle, 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 ball change, waltz clog, waltz clog, ball change, paradiddle, 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 ball change. So the last two lines because it's the same exact thing, just right and then left. Let's try it. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Can we try the whole thing? Then we'll do it with music. Awesome, let's try it. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven,
let's get into the music. One last time, let's have a good time with it. And then you can modify it however you need to. Oh, I forgot to tell you about modifications. Yo, okay, we'll do it two more times. One without and then one with the modifications. So, how I told you guys that you can add a grab off into the waltz clock. So that's a great way to add a modification, adding a grab off into the waltz clock. Also, the other modification, not doing the reverse cram roll, just doing two sets of regular cram rolls. So I guess I did tell you about them. I just wanted to remind you then. You can add a pickup into all the waltz clocks. So let's do it again. This time, normal. And then one last time, I will add the grab offs into the waltz clocks. Cool? All right, now that we got that sorted out. exercises, choreography, step tutorials, vlogs, challenges, anything you want, and it's all free for you. So don't forget to subscribe. It's the best way of supporting this channel. Also hit that thumbs up, and as always, thank you for dancing with me.